Boom. Peace. Intro. Or intro. Peace. Something like that. What's up? Well, I just wanted to show you another little custom I finished. Also, I took that car I got from Derek and threw some wheels on her. Check her out. I was going to shrink up the axles, but I didn't. I left it sitting fat. Like a jackrabbit. And yeah, I got my wheels in yesterday, finally. Not bad wheels. I, uh, I think I'll order more. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like them or not, but I mean, I ordered like $135 worth, so I ordered like several different kinds and a uh, heck of a gamble, but not bad. I like them. I think I'll get some more. Those are some of them right there on that Camara. Man, I just got them on eBay, man. It's some chick. It's Sharon something in Malaysia. But she had a bunch of different kinds. Um, I got a bag of those. And she actually throws a couple extra in there. You know, a few, a few extra. And then I got a bag of these. And then I also got a bag of these because I like doing a lot of sporty stuff. And uh, they're not all, you know, I got a bunch of those because I like to use them on my gassers. Big in the back, big and small in the front. These are the same size all around. Several different colors. Combinations. But uh, that's what I got. Three bags of those. And uh, I think I might get some more. But yeah, all that right there is $135. But it's free shipping. And when I broke it down, it basically came out to anywhere between $450 and $550 a set. So, as you know, it's pretty much the same as what I'm getting when I'm buying premiums and stealing the wheels. Except now I don't have to feel bad about all the cars I'm wasting. And, uh, of course, I'll still have to buy some when I want certain wheels. But uh, these will do for now. So, anyway, I was glad to get those in. Yeah, I was still messing with that thing down there. Made me some uh, shocks. I'm going to mount them. Right up in there, eventually. But right now it's just sitting down there. Ain't really done nothing with it. But anyway, I made another one of these. As you see, I got mine back there. This is another one. She came out smooth as silk. I believe the problem I was having with my white paint was uh, I changed to Rust Oleum. And I don't seem to have any problem. I, I think what it was was the Krylon, for some reason, I, all I could find is that uh, Flex stuff. What the heck's it called? Um, Krylon. Uh, dang it. Hold on. Fusion. Fusion. And that's what I use to get this color yellow and that color orange is the Fusion. But I had to be very, the clear, it'll try to bubble up on it too. But if you go gently and slowly, it, it works out. The white, almost no matter what I did, um, it wanted to bubble up. But I think if I went slow enough, I could make the white work. Because this is fusion down here. It's actually white fusion. And it, it cleared okay. But my other one, it went downhill. And uh, 
but it worked this time. Uh, but I used Rustoleum, and uh, that's what I used on this one. And I put a different sticker on this door. This door's got that rat bank. Of course, I did the gold and I painted the knockoffs gold. See how it's got knockoffs in there? Got my lights. And again, this is the um this one from masters of the universe it's it's that one again and as you see glass i mean glass this is actually for somebody they'll see when it gets there i know that's a bummer because a lot of you are going to be thinking it's you and sorry if it's not. Um, a lot of you are on the list. But this is going to somebody. And they'll see when they it arrives at their house. Hope they like it. Again, hope it don't fall off there. Eight ball shifter. See her up there. You can kind of see her in there. Well, whoever gets it will be able to see it. And like I said, look at that. Look at that glass. Just glass. I you know I went you know obviously I used the Rust Oleum 2K clear on top of it since it's Rust Oleum paint, and it seemed to have made a big difference on the outcome. But I think I got a little too thick back here because I started to bleed on my tail light right there, and I was like, oh man. Because I didn't quite wait long enough for that tail light to dry. And uh, so instead of messing it all up, I left it. I could have dabbed a little white on it, but I didn't I didn't want to mess it all up. So that'll just be your little identification mark, buddy. And uh, like I said, all the way around it, you can watch the glare. It is glass. I was really glad this one came out nice because my other one, man, I've had to strip it three times and I've sacrificed decals three times. It was a bummer. I mean, it almost makes you want to cry. And it's all, it's not the work that, that kills me. It's the fact that I'm losing these rat pink decals each time that happens. And, uh, it's actually different decals. It's not these same ones on my other vehicle. The one that kept doing that to me. They're different ones. And uh, But anyway. And on this one, the bottom, you know, I do a little bit. But there's not a whole lot you can do to the bottom of it. I mean, I do a little. And uh, there's just not a whole lot under there to do. So, it's cool though. But the top, I just think that looks pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to give the person a case to put it in back there. So they don't have to put it in that ugly card. And uh, But I'll ship it in that card. And hopefully they like it. Now this side I pretty much have done the same as mine. It's got the same decals. Just worked out good and on the back I put the same ones a little uh, rat pink dude with a piston see how he's standing on a piston got a piston in his hand standing on the rod pretty cool pretty cool and uh, again this is the one where he's dogging out the I haven't figured out if that's a Camaro or a Nova. I think it's a Camaro. But that is just a cool looking picture, man. Just awesome. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. And I hope the guy I'm sending it to likes it. 
but I'm I'm sure he will. Why wouldn't he? I mean, it's, that's it's not nothing fabulous, but it's better than what it was. So anyway, that's where we're at, guys. And like I said, I'm just playing with that thing down there. But I have to say, I think she's coming along pretty cool. Stuck me a little bumper on the back and made me one in the front formed it in case you're wondering guys you see how that tube i just formed it and it's that it's that white axle stuff see it bent it didn't crease or anything i don't know maybe a lot of you guys know it but what i do is i stick a paper clip inside of it if you stick a paper clip inside of it then you can bend it wherever you want and it won't collapse because the paper clips inside of it keeping it from collapsing it's a kind of a trick that we used in some of the pipe bending stuff we do when we're bending thin wall pipe. You fill it with sand, and uh, if you if, you know if you don't have the one that sticks the mandrels inside of it, you fill it with sand, and then the sand will come, you'll pack the sand real tight, and then it keeps the pipe from crushing when you form it around. Well, this is basically the same concept. It's what I did on that is. Uh, I just stuck a paper clip in it and then that kept it from collapsing when I bent it and then uh, I just took the uh, bottom off of a uh, just trucks and I drilled it drilled my chassis out and screwed it to the bottom of that one just in case you're wondering but yeah I still got a lot more to do to it I think she's gonna look pretty cool and the shocks I'm putting on will cover up that gap in there. They'll lay right across that gap and go straight down to the axles. Same with the front. So it won't look kind of retarded in there. Of course, it doesn't have no suspension. I mean, it wiggles, but it doesn't have suspension like the other one. But I think she looks pretty cool. I was like, right on, man. But it's just something to play with. I actually tinker with it while I'm waiting for uh, other customs and stuff to dry and so on. And, you know, we're waiting. But anyway, enough of that. That's that's that. And uh, that's actually the part to my other, other one of these I got, I'm working on. It's actually that Queen of Hearts that uh, Ferris Fines Diecast gave me. Um... It was kind of in a beat up old package he found in the bottom of a, a bin. That's what that one is back there. And uh, I don't know why I went through so much trouble detailing out the engine and all. Because you can't see it. <laughs> but when I first did it, I thought, you know, I'm going to cut the hood. I'm going to hinge the hood. I'm going to do all that. And I changed my mind. I might do that eventually, but I'm not doing that this time. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Just giving you a quick update. I've got to work the rest of the week, so probably won't be seeing much of me. And I wanted to get this one boxed up and sent off to the person. So figured I'd make a video before she leaves. It's always a... Oh, you can kind of see the shifter in there now. But anyway, it's always kind of a bummer when I get done with one of them. Because I just want to keep them all, you know. But, uh... But I, got, I usually have one, you know, so that's cool. And, uh, but I'll be glad to ship this to, to off, and hopefully the person likes it. So anyway, y'all take it easy, and uh, we'll see you next time. And y'all be cool. Peace. Outro.